Hi there, this is Bima Aditya and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to share to you about how to promote in your wedding photography business using a simple WordPress blog. So after this, I'm going to jump to my computers and tell you more in details about promoting your wedding photography business. So check this out. Hi guys, this is Bima Aditya and welcome to my photography school called Aperture Class. So today I'm going to share to you about promote your wedding photography services using a blog. I start my photographic blog since 2010 and it goes to my bimaditya.com which is selling my photo, photo services like a pre-wedding or engagement, wedding and portraits. And now I develop my apertureclass.com which is uh, containing all my experience, all my story about serving my clients and promoting my wedding photography services. So if you want to start promoting your wedding photography services by using a blog, so the first step is owning your own blog. In this post, I uh, share to you about using Bluehost which is a great company that you can buy a domain and hosting. It is a great hosting that you can use uh, for your blog and I think the promotional price is about $3.95 per month which is less than less than $60 or $70 per year. It is really great. So I also put the links below uh, where you can use the Bluehost and sign your name it, just the plan or package Actually, Bluehost will offering you with a basic plus or choice plus package, but try the lo try the lowest price first. And if you satisfied and you want to have some great features, then you can upgrading your package. The next one is just your domain name. Uh, here, I use my my personal name bimaditya.com as my uh, company of photography. So you can use your own name or you can use your company name with a .com, .net or any other uh, domain name. Then you have to fill your details like your first name, last name, business name, it is optional, the country where you belong to, and the email address or, or any, any other details that Bluehost is needed from you. Then the next step is installing your WordPress. It's really simple. When you got your username and password, you can go to your Bluehost dashboard. There is a small icon with a WordPress or W icon and it has a install WordPress, then you can click it. When you want, once you click the thumbnails, then you can um, choose your domain that you want to install with the WordPress. After it, you have to continue. Ah, you will receive your URL and admin URL uh, with the username and password. It is really important, so don't share uh, to anyone. And I s suggest you to make some notes, maybe in a, in emails or maybe in a book or maybe in a uh, like a notepad or something about url admin url username and your password it is really important so keep it secret on your mind once your installation complete then you can choose your wordpress team so i'm gonna tell you something about this um wordpress offering you with a thousand of beautiful teams uh which is free it's 100 percent free but for me myself it is really hard to find the best WordPress theme that really suitable for my photography services. So what I can suggest is go to the creative market. It is a great company that provide any templates, any themes of uh, for WordPress that you can buy with a various uh, price. So my wedding photography blog themes, it costs about $60 and you can, you can find so many teams it starts from twelve dollars maybe thirty dollars twenty nine dollars or maybe a hundred dollars it depends on how much your budget that you want to spend uh, on the credit market here in this blog i share to you about three recommended uh, wordpress stream in photography that you can choose it's really brilliant it is really simple clean 
And the most important thing is your blog must be mobile friendly because so many clients, so many couples today open your what open your blog uh, with their smartphone. Maybe if you if they come back to home and then they can open their desktop or maybe MacBook, which is with a bigger screen. But the first time they use, they will use uh, their smartphone. So make sure your WordPress team is mobile friendly. The step number three is uh, write a good post or articles on your blog post. So by using a blog, you have to write good content regularly. I I write a content every single day and I'm promoting my services to my couples. I can share my photography works like a pre-wedding or engagement, my wedding and portraits. But in the rest of time, I share to them about useful information about weddings. So sometimes I I share my experience when I stay in Aksana Vela Faru Maldives. So I share about the hospitality, the beautiful rooms, the bathroom, the scenery in Maldives, or even when I go to Hong Kong and stay in a four season in central central Hong Kong, I also share my experience uh, using the hotels. So if you want to share your photography works on, on your blog, then you can uh, telling them about the couple history. So it is about how your bride and groom meet in the first time. That's really matter. The second one is write about location where, where the wedding or engagement session belong to. So if you if you are in Australia, in Melbourne, or maybe in, you are in London, you can share the best location or wedding venue that, uh, that you really suggest to, to your future clients. The number three is share about how you prepare your photo session. So in my services, in my studio, I used to discuss with my client using a Skype or WhatsApp. So uh, I'm focusing on destination wedding. So here I am in Indonesia, but sometimes my client in Singapore or in Malaysia, in Malaysia or in Hong Kong. And then we were going to another place like Singapore or maybe Maldives or maybe Bali to have a wedding photo shoot. So that's why we're using a Skype and WhatsApp, which is uh, really useful to talk about uh, the preparation. And the number four is surely your photos. Make sure you post your best pictures ever. So if it is in wedding, you can start with the preparation, with the ceremony, with the saying the full moment, and then post wedding shots, like a couple shots after the ceremony, cocktail, par cocktail party, and we used to end in the reception or party in the night. And the last one is let your future couple know how to contact you in more further. So usually in a blog post that I made, I made some like a last word from me sentences. It is containing about how to contact me. So I used hyperlink in my uh, contact us or drop me a message into my contact forms. So in this blog, I uh, also share to you the real uh, the the real emails from my cl client I just got it I think two days ago uh, I think she's coming from Malaysia and uh, she want to ask me to shoot for 25 years anniversary which is really great and all you see here is the contact forms uh, f from my website so this is the name, this is the email, this is the wedding date and venue. I don't know the specifics, so she just sent me the, yeah, the maybe the average uh, months, it, maybe in 2019 or 2020, but here you can see having the thought and plan to retake wedding photo after 25 years of marriage, which is really great. Congratulations for this beautiful uh, bride. And then the next one is follow up your clients. So once they send you an email, so after you are blogging about your photography works or maybe useful information, usually your blog will index it in the Google. So uh, it might be in a first page or maybe in the second or third page. But uh, generally, if you take 
a very good keywords in uh, that you can use from Google Keyword Planner for free then you can uh, you will be in the first page so in this post I also share to you about when I uh, promoting my wedding photography in Halong Bay Halong Bay is a beautiful uh, venue in Vietnam so yes when I type the Halong Bay wedding photographer so my website is in the first page so this is my website bimaditya.com this is my my photography page photography blog you can do it all the same to me so if you want to promoting your photography services in Chicago or maybe in Sydney or maybe in Perth and maybe in Auckland New Zealand or something you can use the Google Keyword Planner to optimize your blog posts and once they found you in a Google they have a interesting uh, about your services then you have to follow up then first thing first is don't ever send them your rates or packages in the first reply so my suggestion is talk about personally talk about how they know you personally and how they expect from your photo session so sometimes they they always asking about okay how much is your cost how much is your rates but I never send my client my pricing or rates in the first reply so uh, for me better myself to know my client uh, first then we talk about planning with discussion uh, then we talk about price price is really essential so I don't want to talk in the in the first time when I meet my couples and when the when they like our photos uh, your photos and then usually they usually ha you have to send them the price list and then once th you got to deal with them congratulations so you have to do the best photo shoot for them no matter is engagement it is wedding or even it is portrait family or something you have to do the best and send the final result to them so what I did after I'm I got a deal so I go to the venue that, uh, that they asking me to come and then we do it, the photo shoot my minimum duration is about six hours and the maximum duration that I had right now in my package is two days so after I done the photo session I back to my studio and then do the post-production I using Adobe Photoshop or even Lightroom uh, to pro to do the post production steps, and after I'm done with everything, then I ask my designer to lay out the albums, uh, and then once the album is printed in a high quality photo paper, then we send the albums to my couples. I send to everywhere. I send to Melbourne. I send to Singapore. I send to Hong Kong. So since I focusing on destination wedding, so I have to deliver the albums. It is like a cross country. So. Uh, it, is, it depends on your niche so you can uh, deliver your albums uh, to, to in the same country where you belong to or in the other countries so that's all uh, I hope uh, this video is helping you to promoting your photography business I know it is not easy in the first time but you have to hard work you have to work day and night uh, I don't know it takes several times maybe a week maybe months uh, yeah it's really hard but it is worth it to do and when you got you achieve your goals and everything is gonna be alright okay thank you for visiting my channel and subscribe because I'm gonna share to you about my photo session here uh, I share also about my tips maybe technique or maybe like marketing tips like this so make sure you subscribe on my channel so see you next time